So welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you a new product that I've uh, unfortunately had to buy. I um, started having problems with my Z-Wave dongle, the Aeon um, Z-Stick. I've done a review on that one on one of my videos in the past. Uh, it's working but I'm finding intermittent problems. I'm having to reset it quite often. So what I've done is I've gone to Homeseer and I bought a new Smart Stick Z-Wave. And I want this video to kind of be a, show you a little bit about the stick, what it looks like, and how I'm going to go through the process of converting all my devices over to the new hardware. So what I'm going to do is first just show you the box in here. It's very simple. I mean, you get a guide. You know, with the, the documentation and then just the Z-Stick itself. I mean, pretty simple in the packaging. And uh, so inside is basically just the new little Z-Stick. There's, really this is all there is to it. Um, the, all the inclusion um, buttons and everything that were on like the Aeon are now done through the home sear software so this is basically you should be able to plug it in go right to your system and start adding devices so let's cut over to the system I'm gonna go and plug this in before we get started uh, doing the conversion you want to make sure your plug-in is at the latest version um, home sear recommends being at 3.0.1.11 um, I am past that but I do have an update so I'm going to go ahead and apply the updates here um, and just go ahead and that way I'm on the latest version and everything's ready to go and we'll let this install um, once this is finished then I'm going to go back into the plugins Z-Wave and we're going to do a backup and this will allow you to back up all your devices that you have on your current plug-in and move them over to the new Z-Stick here smart stick so now you can see that we are up to date on the Z-Wave plug-in and let's go over to the plug-in Z-Wave and controller management And here we have the Z-Stick, um, currently the Aeon Labs, that is giving me some problems. And what we want to do is go in there and we want to back up this interface. I'm going to click on here and it's going to say the operation will be here and just click start. And it should only take a second or two to get that and once it's done we can close and what we want to do is now want to disable the current z-stick so I'm gonna check this box which means it's disabled and to avoid conflicts Holmes here recommends that we delete this interface before we do the um, smart stick update so we'll just delete it and now you can see I have no Z-Wave options <clears throat> all right so once all that's done now they recommend that we go over to home seer and um, get the latest drivers because this is um, uses a virtual com port so they say go to home seer downloads and get the current driver and we'll get those installed and here we go so we've downloaded it open this up okay one thing to note as well as when I was going to the downloads page page um, make sure you're on your home seer system I was on my laptop so I uh, realized Pretty soon after I did the download that I needed to be on the actual computer so what I've done is I've gone and I've downloaded those drivers I've just created a folder here 
and place them because once I install the stick I'll install the drivers with the stick from that point so I'm gonna go and hook this into the system and we should see it pop up and get recognized and you can see there the device is being recognized so now let's go in there and we'll configure it so now that it's in there let's go and go to our device manager and make sure we have the new stick and it's recognized and we've got a new serial device here on the COM6 So once you can see here, once I um, had it installed, I just went and navigated to the uh, drivers folder that I downloaded and now we see it as a UZB, so it is recognized. So that is one step you don't want to forget because these are not automatically installed drivers. So you want to go and, and physically install them after you plug that in. So once those are installed, we can go back over to our PC. We don't have to work on the the uh, the local machine anymore. And we're going to go to Z-Wave and Controller Management. And we want to click Add an Interface. And I'm going to name this one Z-Wave Smart. Submit, and we want to pick the home seer and that one we said was installed on COM6 and then we'll add it and it should pick it up and we want to make sure it's enabled So now that it's installed, let's go and do the restore. And we're going to restore this. And here was the file we created. I've created a couple. Make sure I got the latest one, which was done. Yep. All right. So now we've got that select. We'll do confirm and we want to start and it was it's in the process of converting everything all my IDs over to the new stick so we'll let this run for a minute and then we will come back and confirm that everything's working fine alright looks like it's finished so now we can get back over to home and let me just do a um, couch light, which is a Z-Wave device, on. And it does turn on. And off. Okay. Well, as you can see, it was pretty simple to get this uh, switched out. So if you ever come across that uh, issue where you've lost or your, your Z-Wave uh, interface is going bad, um, pretty simple process this is the first time I've ever had to do it so it was uh, pretty straightforward it was a lot easier than I was expecting it to be so the directions that HomeSeer gives you in the document or with the device it spells out all these steps um, it's pretty straightforward shouldn't be any um, you know any concerns there but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video of uh, Z-Wave uh, switch of the interface module 
and I appreciate you stopping by and checking out my channel. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button and look forward to you coming back and checking out future videos. Thank you.